in our previous sessions we have learned how to create a course in Moodle site in especially in GNMIO platform now we need to learn how to add and enroll users in your Moodle course page so it includes two process first you need to add your users in Moodle site then you can enroll your students in your particular course page remember if you want to enroll your students in Moodle course page first you need to add them in your Moodle site for example in your college if there are 1500 students you need to add these 1500 students first in your Moodle site then only the respective teachers can add students in their particular courses. First, we will learn how to add users in a Moodle site. Then we will learn how to enroll users. So there are three options for adding users in Moodle site. First one, by manual adding, you can add users manually one by one. Second option, generate password and notify user. And the third option, bulk action process using CSV file. We will discuss all these options here. First, we will learn how to add user manually. Here, I am going to my Moodle website, rakeshsp.gnmio.com. All of you should type your respective site names there. So I am typing rakeshsb.gnmio.com without www. Click login. Type your username and your new password here. So I reach my Moodle page again. So for adding a new user, I am going to the left navigation pan. I am going to site administration. In the site administration you can see users so for creating courses we used courses tab now we need to use users tab so here you can see add a new user option add a new user option click on that You need to remember one thing for evaluating your Moodle assignment all of you should create a common user with the username student you can create as many as users as possible as you deserve but you must create a common user with username student and with a common password that I will discuss here this is for to evaluate your assignment we, we need to access your site so that's why a common user should be added in your course page with username student so I am using a common user here with username student so type the username choose authentication method manual accounts so new password the password must be QSAT with C capital U S A T 1 2 3. So if you click this I button, you can see your password QSAT 1 2 3. Okay, so it is necessary. You must create a username. I am repeating. You must create a common user with username student and password QSAT123. But as per their requirement, we need a special character. So I'm editing this password again. So the password must be QSAT123 hash. So this is the common password QSAT123 hash. So the username must be student and password must be QSAT123 hash with C capital. Okay. Then you can give first name. I am giving this one as student. Surname I am giving as demo. Email address I am giving this one as student at gmail.com. So this is not necessary that that email must be 
existing so in actual practices you must give your student's name your student's surname and your student's email address here i gave just a virtual mail id student.gmail.com it is not existing then you have to change the country but leave it to your student in their edit profile button they can change their country and time zone unless it is very tedious process for you all if you want to select these country time zone for every student it will be a hard task for you so leave it and just direct students to do this one so additional names interest optional create user so for creating user these fields are mandatory you must provide username choose an authentication method manual accounts just type a password with these requirements first name surname email address so this is the one of the limitations of this manual id if you have 50 students in your class you have to add, type these 50 students manually your usernames manually passwords manually so this is a very difficult task for you so here i just added only one user with username student and password qsat123 hash click create user now you can see the user you created is displaying here with first name student demo email address student.gmail.com and last access is never this is why i told you earlier through this moodle platform you can monitor the progress of students at what time they access their course contents etc this is not possible in other lms uh, if you want to add another user just click add a new user and just do all the steps which i mentioned previously in this way you can add users manually so the, the limitation is that you have to add all users manually with their usernames and passwords next method to add a new user is generate password and notify user so i'm just click add a new user button again click add a new user button this is the previous window so if you use this generate password and notify user option you can find here generate password and notify user you just give the username of your user or of your student no need to provide the password the moodle server will automatically send a mail to the concerned student showing their passwords so here also you have to provide individual usernames so the process is not simple one thing is that you, it is not necessary to provide password the password will be generated by the moodle server and will be notified to the user so for that type the username of your student i am typing the username as rakesh so i am using the option generate password and notify user now no need to type the password here i am typing first name as rakesh second name sb but here you should provide a valid email id then only the server will send a notification to that correct mail id if the mail id given is wrong the student won't receive the password so i am receive i am providing the valid mail id here so no need to change is due to student create user so in this time the students will be notified with a mail highlighting the username and password this is the another method to create a user in your moodle course page so here you can see Takesh sb with mail id has been added here then the student will receive his password and can enter into this course or enter into this moodle site next option is very important create uses using csv file using this technique you can 
add all users in your college with a simple step. Just create a CSV file with the required fields. So this is a CSV file I have created for my MSc students. So I think you all know how to create a CSV file. It is simple. Just open an Excel. Just type these fields first. Fields must be first field must be username, then password, first name, last name, then email. So this is very important. Don't change these fields or the don't change the order of these fields. Just use the first field as username, then password, first name, last name, and email. Then type username, then type a common password for all the students, first name, then last name as. So here I, am, I used BSc semester 5 which I just want to know in which same the students are studying. So I am using the last name as BSc sem 5, then type their respective mail IDs. So after creating in an Excel sheet, if you want to create a CSV file, then file, save us. Save us as what is comma separated values dot csv file. So then you will get a csv file. The important thing is that here don't change the width of the column. If you change any of these settings, it won't work. So leave the column width as in as default values. So in this way, you can create a csv file. So for creating a csv file, you can circulate a Google form among students group and collect these fields username password first name last name and email you know how to get uh, this excel sheet from google form and then save that google sheet in csv file format it will look like this so in this way you can easily create a csv file after creating the csv file we can upload the csv file directly to the moodle course page so it is very easy to add many number of uses with this single step so now i created the csv file next i need to upload the csv file to moodle course page we can look how to upload a csv file to moodle course page for that go to your moodle course page in your moodle course page don't click this add a new user because the option is not there you need to go to site administration again go to site administration Click the Uses tab as we did in the previous case. Click Uses tab. Here you can find Upload Uses, not this bulk user action. Sometimes you may confuse with this bulk user action, it is different. If you want to upload your CSV file, just click Upload Uses. It is there, Upload Uses. Just click Upload Uses. So it will look like this. So next, you can drag and drop your CSV file here. This is my CSV file. I drop that file to the prescribed box. So enrollment CSV file, msc.csv. Then click upload users. Upload users. So you can find this much of students are being added here. Here also you can put some changes upload type if you if you set this false password change once the students log in the site using this username for password the server will force the students to change the password you can set these settings on or off so the default value is it will for it will set the false password change to all users having a weak password so i am setting this one as none because the students know students has the provisions to change their password with his or her own interest so i am putting this force word force password change to none then it must be entered by students after in their edit profile options click upload users so you can see the net result is 28 uses created, one uses skipped. This is just because that uses not added out the register. Because this student is already in my website, 
so the user has been skipped there and the total 28 users has been created so in this way you can very easily add your students in your Moodle site so we learned now how to add users in a Moodle site so the enrollment process is different we haven't yet enrolled students in our course page we just added students in our Moodle site so the next task is to enroll these students in our course page so I think this adding users using CSV file is the easiest way because in other two process you have to spend more time to type the respective usernames or password so adding users in CSV file is more convenient for you hope you understand how to add users using CSV file next we will learn how to enroll users in your course page before that we need to click this continue button to finalize the process so click continue okay that users have been added if you want to log out from this session you just go to your user menu click log out thank you